Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A slash get ready with me. I asked you guys about a week ago to submit your questions to me on Instagram and I have a good amount of questions to answer for you guys. So I started thinking about it and I hadn't done a Q&A in quite some time. Plus there are a lot of you that are new to my channel or new to Instagram. So I thought this would be a perfect time to answer some of your questions while I get ready. In addition, I am going to be trying some new products that I bought including the Gucci bronzer, the Gucci mascara, the Hermes lipstick, I have some Dior blush, I have some Chanel highlighter. So not only am I going to answer your juicy questions but in addition I'm going to try out some new products as well. So in the event I get a little chatty and don't tell you what I'm applying, everything like usual that I use on my face will be linked down below. So let's get right into it. First off if you guys are new to my channel I'd love to have you join my little YouTube family please take a moment to hit that little subscribe button it would make me extremely happy okay so let's go ahead and get right into it first let me go ahead and let me moisturize and then we will get into the first question okay so I have all of these on my phone and I actually did not cheat I just took a screenshot but I tried not to really really look at a lot of the questions the first question I have is by miss junebug 99 hello there what was your first Lux purse purchase so my very very first Lux purchase was actually my Louis Vuitton um, Speedy 35 in the Damier Aben. That was my very, very first uh, Lux purchase. And I have to admit, I know I've, heard, I've mentioned this before, that I don't use the Speedy quite as much as I would like. I still love it because it can fit a lot. But I really wish that I would have purchased the Bandolier, the one that comes with the strap. However, I don't know if I'll ever get rid of the Speedy just because it was my first purchase. I remember I saved my money. I had the whole experience. I went to the Louis Vuitton store. I picked it out. I got it and I just had it sitting for a couple of days before I even opened it. That was a long time ago. But yeah, my Speedy 35 was my very first purchase. Okay, I just went in with the Tarte Poreless Primer and I'm going to go in with the Christian Dior foundation. I love this stuff. The next question is by Miss Carrie's Closet. She asks, do we plan on having more kids? And the answer to that question is we do not plan on having kids. For those of you that don't know, um, my husband and I do have a daughter, Skylar. She is eight. She is actually going to be nine in September. And, you know, we went back and forth. And when she was younger, we thought about possibly having another one. But, you know, I'm not going to lie, you guys. We really, really like just having one. We can focus all of our attention on her, plus both of us work full time, so the more kids you have, the harder it is for sure, um, you know, to do things, and in addition, not to sound selfish, but we like to go on trips, you know, I obviously like to buy handbags, you know, my husband has his interests, you know, we want to be able to provide a good life for Skylar, and you know, the more kids you have, the harder it is to do that, so... As much as I think it would be great for her to have a brother or sister, we actually moved to a neighborhood when she was younger that had a lot of kids for that reason so that, you know, she didn't really need a companion. And I think she's happy um, being an only child. We do actually have a dog which she uh, named Banks, um, who she calls her brother. So I think we are good with one. Okay, I got this question, this next question from quite a few people. Actually, I think this was like the main question that people asked. Um, and it was uh, Miss Carrie's Closet asked it again. Um, Kayla Ray VB. Lisa Boss Lady, thank you guys so much. The question is, what kind of work do you do outside of YouTube? What type of work do you do as your full-time job? One thing I always wonder is, what is your occupation? Okay, so... Um, I went to school, my degree was in um, business with a finance concentration, so I actually started out as a financial analyst and then I wanted to try something different. So I ended up going into the current line of work that I'm in now. I am a government contractor and I actually work in subcontracts. So 
what that means basically is let's say my company has a contract with somebody. We obviously can't do that work on our own. So because of that, we need to hire on additional subcontractors. So it's my job to negotiate and administer those subcontracts. Um, I really like what I do because it's very much customer um, service oriented. You know, you have to deal with people on a daily basis from your external customers to your internal customers. Um, there is a lot of paperwork that comes along with it. I'm not going to lie, there are a lot of stressful days that come along with it. But I've been doing it for a long time now, so um, I really like it. So yeah, I am a government contractor. Lisa Boss Lady, um, she did ask, what state do you live in? So I do get this question a lot too. And even though I'm on YouTube and I do share a lot with you guys, the one thing that I like to kind of keep private is where I live. Um, but I can tell you, so I'm not going to mention what state I live in, but I can tell you that I am, I do live on the East Coast and I have lived here my whole life and I really love it. So hopefully you guys will understand and just, per, uh, you know, respect my privacy on that one question. Okay. Um, I have another, what do you do for work? Okay. Christina Carforo asked, do you have any advice for someone trying to grow their channel? Love your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. So I've been doing YouTube for a couple years now. You know, I still need to grow my channel. I think as of today, I might have, um, I don't know, over 15,000, but I still have like, you know, a long ways to go. Um, the advice that I can give you is if it's something that you're really passionate about, um, just keep doing it every day and don't do it because you want fame or you want money because trust me doing YouTube You know, you're not gonna make a lot of money until you really get to that level of like millions of subscribers You know, um, so it definitely has to be a passion of yours and for me It's just a hobby and I love it. It's a stress reliever. So I love being with my family I love running shopping of course and YouTube. I love like talking with you guys and doing videos It just makes me so happy so I would just say don't quit and a lot of people say oh well I don't have the right equipment da 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 I started with my iPhone when I first started doing YouTube videos and right now I'm filming with a Canon but it's not even one of the best cameras you just have to slowly work your way up but like I said if it's something that you're really passionate about do it start today if it's something you've been wanting to do don't wait now is the perfect time so that's the advice that I could give you and if you guys want me to do like another video on YouTube you know, kind of like how I film and kind of like behind the scenes editing all that kind of stuff I can. The way I do it is actually really, really easy compared to the way a lot of YouTubers do it. So I'd be more than happy to do a dedicated video one time if you guys wanted to see it. Everyday Mom Look. Why? This is from Los Puente. Hello there. Everyday Mom Look. Why is all puffer in medium or college in large? Definitely college in large. Uh, and we're talking about the St. Laurent college bag. You guys might recall that I did purchase this handbag and I ended up returning it for the the envelope bag and as much as I love the envelope bag I still dream about that college bag so don't be surprised if if like one day you you know see me get that bag again because even though I returned it it's a bag I still think about so it could appear in my collection again so definitely between those bags I'm gonna have to say the college bag although the puffer bag is cute too but definitely the college. Um, thank you for your question. Okay, Lily's Land of Bees. What's your favorite summer skincare and or after sun care routine? Um, my summer skincare routine, well, I really try hard not to go in the sun that much, um, but I do try to use an SPF or I'll try to use foundations that have SPF. Um, if I'm out in the sun, I do try to wear a hat. I also, you guys know that for my skincare, I really love the Sunday Riley um, sleeping oil. I have been loving that um, for my skin and it works really well, but just again, the normal um, sunscreen, take care of it. And then, like I said, as I get older, I really try hard. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury, Eyes to Mesmerize. This is my favorite. This is in um, Marie Antoinette, which I think no longer exists. So now it's called Oyster Pearl. So anyway, so yeah, I would just recommend that anytime you are in the sun, 
that you wear a hat and protect your face. When I was younger, I used to go out in the sun and just like lay out. I wouldn't use sunscreen. And now I'm starting to notice the wrinkles. Plus, um, skin cancer really, really runs in my family. My mom has seven brothers and sisters and like almost every one of them have gotten skin cancer. So I would highly recommend to just make sure you use sunscreen and cover up when you go out. But as far as like taking care of my skin, I definitely live by the Sunday Riley sleeping oil. And then I try to get facials once every couple of months as well that kind of focus on wrinkles. Oh, Lily's Land of Bees. This is another question. If you were ever interested in getting cosmetic surgery, what would you consider doing? Um, I don't know. I, I totally support people um, who want to get plastic surgery. I definitely do, especially if it's something that makes them feel better. I have never um, done it. Like I've never gotten Botox. I've never got my lips done. I've never gotten anything to my body. But if I were to do it, I don't know if this counts as plastic surgery, but I feel like if I were to do it, I would do the spider vein re removal. So I have those little like, you know, unsightly, they call them in the commercials, unsightly spider veins. And I have those on my legs and they drive me crazy. I mean, they're not like a huge, huge deal, but they really, really drive me crazy. So I don't know if that counts as cosmetic surgery. I think that is probably something I would do. Again, I'm I'm a little afraid of Botox even though I definitely need it. I have a horrible line on my forehead and like my smile lines, you know, I can't say that I'll never do it, but I am afraid to sometimes. I've seen so many people that do it that look great. Like my sister-in-law has done it. She looks beautiful. Um, some of my friends have done it. They look amazing, but I'm just so afraid that if I were to do it, I would be the ones where I'm like, you know, my face looks like frozen. So I don't know. If I were to do plastic surgery, I think it would be the spider vein removal. I don't have them really bad, but I do have them on my legs and they do kind of drive me crazy. So thank you for your question. Okay, this is by Claudia Joseph Peru. Hi there. Her question is, what is the next bag on your wish list? Hmm, that is a very interesting question. I may or may not have purchased the bag that is on my wish list, so you guys might just have to stay tuned. So unfortunately, I am not able to answer that question because you're going to have to see. Now I will tell you, it may or may not be by Chanel or Louis Vuitton, one or the other, but stay tuned, there will be an unboxing. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Gucci and the L'Oreal Telescopic. Again, I know I haven't been mentioning the products. I'm like having a hard time multitasking here, but I will list everything below. The next question is by Unicorn Glitter 95 She said, how much did your closet end up costing? I'm looking into redoing my own. Okay, so in case you guys didn't see my closet tour and transformation, make sure to check that out. I recently redid, redid my closet. I had mentioned in that video that I had inquired about California closets coming in to do my closet. However, it would have been like 10,000. So I was able to do my closet for around, um, I want to say the system, the pack system cost about 840. And then I got some accessories. So I would say I did it for like under a thousand, which I think is actually a really, really good deal. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure to check it out. I try to link as many things as I can, including like handbags in that video as well. So thank you for your question. Any go-to snacks or meals from Izzy Luangus? Well, thank you for your question and thank you for being so supportive, Izzy. I recognize your name and I know you've been um, a subscriber for a long time, so thank you for all of your support. Um, go-to snacks or meals? Well, I do love to eat. Um, I would say one of my favorite snacks um, I buy it at Food Lion, and it's called the Brain Booster Trail Mix. It has walnuts, almonds, and then little pieces of chocolate. Um, I love that. Again, it's called Brain Booster Trail Mix. Also, another snack, I don't know if you'd call this a snack, but you guys know, if you've been watching me um, on Insta Stories for a while, I have been like totally into Starbucks like iced vanilla lattes with one stevia. And I don't get skim milk or anything like that. I just get it um, regular with a stevia. But as far as other snacks, I mean, I like fruit. Like, I love watermelon. I would say my biggest it, um, snack is trail mix. And then I also, there, if you guys are familiar with Arbon, um, there's a lady in my neighborhood um, who sells it. Her name is Danielle. She's, like, so cute. Um, she sells um, Arbon greens. And I like having that every day, and I mix it with a fist stick. I actually have gotten addicted to it where I have it every morning. So I guess I'd count that as a snack. But if I had to pick one snack, it would definitely be trail mix. So I hope that helped in answer your question. 
osc.xo. Amber, I love you and your channel. What got you into making your own channel? That's a great question. So a couple years back, you know, I just started watching like Jaclyn Hill. I want to say she was one of the first people I watched and Alex Garza and Annie Jaffrey. And it started like I just have had like a love of makeup. And I started thinking to myself, well, I've never been a makeup artist or anything like that, but I just love makeup. I said I would love to share things with people that I love. And I started with like makeup reviews and then I started doing fashion videos and then I moved into into handbags and now I kind of have you know everything so I would say watching Jaclyn Hill or Annie and Alex those are the first three that I really watched love them to death so oh and Shay Whitney I would watch her too so and I just watched them and I thought this is something I would really like to do too and then one day I just turned my phone on and I did it and you know now we're here so okay this is from um, oh, I'm sorry if I get it wrong Schoon L.E. S-C-H-O-O-N-L-E. Do you like working? Oh, I'm going to go in with the Gucci bronzer. Love this. Look at the packaging. Do you like working from home? So I have to be honest. I used to go into the office. I would wake up. You guys might remember I'd film my videos at like five in the morning. I would wake up at five. I would take a shower for like an hour. I would commute for an hour and I would usually work like seven to three and then I'd have about an hour commute home. And a lot of times I wouldn't even see um, my daughter in the morning because she'd be sleeping and then my husband would get her on the bus. So do I like working from home? 100% yes. When I have to go back to normal to go into the office, it is going to be difficult because I have been able to spend so much time with her. Um, when I'm done with work, I close my computer. I don't have to commute. It's really, really nice. Plus, I just have a lot of extra um, free time not having to commute. I can stay with the dog all day. So I, the only thing I do miss, I do miss seeing some of my coworkers, and then I miss dressing up. So, you know, every day I wear, like, cozy clothes, which is fine, but I definitely miss, like, dressing up in my work outfits. And this year for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it was a little different because I try to usually pick up some work clothes. And this time it was mainly loungewear. So stay tuned for that video as well. But yes, I love working from home. I didn't think I would. I used to be one of those people saying I could never work from home. That's a lie. Liana Pogosian, how did you get into designer handbags? Oh my gosh, I don't know how I used to. Um, I've just always had a love of fashion and I used to, like when I was in like college, you know, I could never afford those designer bags. So I'd be, you know, I used to buy like the replicas and that kind of stuff. And um, I just always dreamed of like, you know, having like a real designer bag one day and I saved my money up for it. And unfortunately, once you do it the first time, you kind of become addicted um, to it. But I would say it wasn't until maybe like college that I really started getting into it. And I don't know if I, oh, you know, yes, I do know. I was watching Nick and Jessica, newlyweds, and I remember, and tell me if you guys remember this too, she used to carry the Speedy 35, it was in the white multicolor, and I loved it, and I was in love with that bag, and I remember I went and I bought my first like replica, because they used to sell replicas of that bag, and I, so I, I have to say it's Jessica Simpson, I, I have to, I think I have to blame her for it, because I saw her carrying it, and that's what kind of got me into it. Maria G. Kane, your favorite LV wallet. Oh, this is a toughie. This is a toughie. Um, favorite LV wallet. Well, I did recently get a couple. I can tell you, I really, really like the Rosalie. It is a tiny little thing, but it fits everything. I also just recently got the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso, which is a really, really good one. Um, so I would have to, oh, and then you say Louis, that's LV. So probably either the Rosalie or the new Recto Verso. The new Recto Verso is kind of a little harder to get, but it's like a one size fits all wallet. It's a coin, it's a cash, it's a card, it's a key. Okay, the next question is how did my, and a couple of you asked this question. Um, and by the way, I'm trying the new Chanel highlighter, which I'm very excited about. So pretty. Um, how did you and your husband meet? So my husband and I actually have known each other since like middle school. And we started out as friends. 
um, we went to the same high school and we were literally, oh, that's so pretty. We were literally like best friends in high school, but I was dating somebody else. We ended up going away to different colleges and then we came home one summer and we started dating. So I think we started dating our sophomore summer. Yes, our sophomore summer. So we've been together since 2000 and then it's been... And we've been together ever since. So we have been together, oh my gosh, like 20 years. So we started dating. We were dating for a while. Then we got engaged and we were engaged for a couple years. And then we were married for like five years. And then we had Sky. And then actually our 15 year wedding anniversary is in October. So we wanted to do something fun for that. But I'm not really sure what we're going to be able to do because of the whole quarantine situation. We've actually already had like cruises canceled. So... But yes, that is how we met. He is my best friend. He is like my rock. He is like that go-to person Person where if I'm having a bad day or I need advice, I can go to him and he's going to tell me something even if I don't want to hear it. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's very um, polite about it, but like he will put me in my place. Like he'll be like, you're being ridiculous. You shouldn't complain about that. And I think that's so important that you have someone like that because you, you don't want people around you who are going to be like, yes men. You want people that are going to, you know, keep you level-headed and just be that good support. So he is an amazing person, an amazing father. He is just wonderful and he's my best friend and um, I'm very, very lucky. Okay, my camera had actually stopped recording. So sorry about that. I had to delete a couple of things before that. So now I'm going to go in with Pillow Talk. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this Hermes lipstick which is really, really, I love the color. It's like a, a pretty mauve. Okay, and... Okay, so I put this color on. It is called Beige Kalahari. All right, and the final question that a lot of you actually asked was, how do you afford luxury? So... I wish I could have like a magic answer and just tell you that money just appears on trees and that's why I afford luxury, but there are multiple ways. Obviously, I work really, really hard at my job. Um, what I also do is I take any money that I make through YouTube or affiliate links or anything like that and I put it into an account. That's what I use and then I kind of use that account and that's what I use as like my pot of money for like handbags and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, there's no substitute for working hard, you guys. Um, you know, I'm not one of those people that, that grew up with, like, my parents being wealthy or anything like that. So I've always had to work hard for things that I do have. And, you know, if you work hard, it pays off. If I look at my closet or I look at my handbags, obviously material things are not important. But if I look at it, I can tell myself I have that bag because I worked for it. One of the things, you know, I have my Chanel bag on display right back there. And that's just a reminder to me like I bought that on my own all these bags I bought on my own I worked hard for it I saved the money so, so just save work hard and kind of find like a little side hustle too like for me my little side hustle other than my full-time job is YouTube you know find that whether it be Arbonne or you know Isogenics or you sew or you, you paint you know whatever that side hustle is like you know I would I would highly recommend doing that like follow your passions because you never know what it could turn into. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like usual, I will be sure to link everything that I used on my face down below. I'm really, really loving this Gucci bronzer. It's so good. And you guys, the Chanel highlighter, so good too. And this lipstick, um, the packaging is beautiful. It's a beautiful color. It is a little scratchy on the lips. So I don't know that I would recommend paying for this, but out of Everything I did today, the Gucci bronzer, this Chanel highlighter, and the Gucci mascara, really, really good. These are three products I recommend, and I will link everything down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you guys want to know, feel free to let me know, and I can definitely do another Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. I'd love to have you join me over there. Have a fabulous day, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Wish me the best of luck I'm gonna